Hi, everyone. As you've uh, just heard, I'm Christian Captavilla. Uh, I'm a data scientist at a healthcare startup called Prognos. And I'm here to tell you about what we do and how AWS SageMaker helps us do it. So uh, this is our moonshot. And as you can see, we're an ambitious company with a very ambitious moonshot, uh, disease eradication. More immediately, uh, as you can see under step one, uh, we're trying to learn to predict disease early. And this is a problem, obviously, that has immense social and commercial impact, uh, as can be seen by our list of partners and investors uh, here. So we sell products into these three verticals, life sciences, diagnostics, uh, and payers. Here you can see some of our, uh, our bigger clients and investors. And so the question is, how are we doing this? Uh, well, we're combining three things. One are teams of data scientists and engineers. Two, an experienced group of clinical experts. And three, our unique data asset. We have the world's largest clinical laboratory data set, over 17 billion de-identified records uh, describing the patient journeys of 200 million people here in the United States. So uh, here's an, uh, sorry, an overview of our predictive modeling pipeline. Uh, I imagine this looks familiar to a lot of you out there. Uh, we ingest data from disparate sources on the left and impose our schema on it. Then we use a combination of domain expertise and machine learning to harmonize it by cleaning up things like different naming conventions, uh, different units of measure, and to organize and tag relevant, sorry, relevant information for use downstream. Uh, extracting data from text fields is, uh, is a good example. And for the rest of the short talk, I'll be focusing on the section in the bright pink box, which uh, runs on AWS SageMaker. So even after cleaning and harmonizing, uh, lab data can be hard to work with. It's irregular time series data. Uh, different patients have different numbers of tests performed at irregular uh, intervals. It's also high dimensional. Uh, we have tagging logic for over 7,000 different types of tests. And uh, a lot of those test records could have multiple uh, ICD diagnostic codes, of which there are roughly 68,000. And there's various other things uh, attached, and you end up in a very, very large space. And it's sparse. Uh, some of these tests are quite rare, so you aren't going to see them very often. And a lot of you are probably also familiar with this or some variation on it. Uh, if you're a data scientist, the stuff that you're interested in is in orange. But the vast majority of the initial man hours and code are involved in all the blue stuff down below, uh, propping up those uh, notebooks and the model code. Uh, and like anything else, uh, all those pieces have to be maintained. So uh, SageMaker for us has let us focus on the stuff that we care about and offload uh, development and management of all the other pieces to Amazon. We can prototype our models in a SageMaker notebook uh, and then very easily deploy that uh, to a cluster of GPU accelerated hosts for large scale training. And once we've produced our model artifact, we can deploy it as an endpoint uh, in SageMaker as well and we're ready to make predictions. If, however, uh, we do need to reach further down the stack, we can provide our own Docker images or fork Amazon, since they're on GitHub, and our own build of a framework and run those on their uh, GPU Docker hosts uh, and use their deployment tools. Uh, so that was a really big selling point for us that we're not necessarily uh, locked into any particular tooling. Uh, we can replace as much as we need when we need to. And this has let us focus on this, uh, this big picture idea. We've been able to put our limited resources and time to what we really care about, which is uh, predicting disease. That's the uh, end of my talk. Uh, we are hiring. Please send resumes. I'll be walking around. So if you have any questions, uh, come up and, and talk to me. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>